Here's two quick tips you can use to play Yelan with Hu Tao better. Number one, use her skill twice per rotation. Yes, you can do this even with Hu Tao. For the majority of players, just like myself, you've probably been running them in a team like this. Have you tried a rotation like the below? See, what I've noticed is a lot of people are struggling with energy, even whilst they're running multiple fab weapons. You see, if you only use character skills once per rotation, you're actually being really inefficient with the fab weapons. And not only that, but you're losing damage from using these weaker weapons on top of that. In double hydro teams, unlike VV setups, which are very precise and require special orders, you can pretty much get away here doing what you want. This means you have the ability to use Yelan's E before and after Hu Tao with pretty much no downside. So if you look at this example, with Yelan on a refined fav bow, not only am I getting two sets of her hydro energy procs, I'm also getting two sets of the fav bow procs. This is a significant amount of particle generation and my Yelan doesn't even need to catch all these herself. As you can see here, I'm literally running Mistblade on Xingqiu and the catch on Xiangling. Whereas I've seen a lot of other people having to run three fab weapons and my damage just absolutely tears through this. Before anyone asks, if you don't burst on Hu Tao, you can use Yelan's skill. Rotations aren't even extended. However, if you do use Hu Tao's burst, yes, rotations can be slightly extended. But do you really care about that more than comfortable ER requirements? After all, most people are only bursting one in every two or three rotations anyway. As I mentioned earlier, this general rotation would apply whether you use Zhongli, Xiangling, Fishu, or even Kazuha. The only time where this might not necessarily apply is a speedrun, but that's irrelevant because speedruns you do whatever you need to do to get the fastest clear anyway. Number two, separate Yelan's burst from her skill. Now obviously most people are used to using character skills and bursts together. It's very easy to play the game like that, and it's fine. However, with Yelan's A4 damage buff, you kind of want to maximize that and get it at its highest whilst Hu Tao is still on the field. You can see here, I use it a little early so Hu Tao is the character on the field when the buff is reaching that 50%. And then as mentioned earlier, using her skill just before Hu Tao. You can see, I almost fully utilize Yelan's damage buff. 